Hi everyone, I'm Tim Cash. This is the IMDb Show, and this is Diego Luna. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't just win the World Cup. It's, it's just the IMDb Show. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, I am fresh off binge watching two seasons of Narcos Mexico. My God. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, you play. No, really, thank you. <laughs> no, no, but it's really. It's 20 hours of your <laughs> it life. Is a lot. You it is a lot. Invested 20 hours of your I life. I think in I this. now just learned a brand new language. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you play Felix Gallardo. You play him so well. So well, in fact, that throughout the entire watching of two seasons, I'm rooting for this guy. I want this guy to win. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. So, therefore, I like a guy who's a villain, a drug dealer, and a murderer. When you approach the character, do you see him as a villain? No, no, you, 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 I don't, I mean, I, I don't recommend doing that because then uh, you, you end up portraying like a cartoon, I think. Okay. You know, you have to approach it as a man uh, and you have to find what, can, what, what connections you can find on the character, right? Uh, and you have to understand what, the, mot the motivations be behind every decision you make, you know? You, you have to understand the character and you cannot judge him. Uh, at the beginning, obviously, as a, just as an actor, as part of the audience, I, I, I read everything. I talk to the writers. I see what the point of view is going to be uh, because, obviously, I want to agree with that point of view right. to, to join a show. But, uh, but then once I'm performing, it's, it, 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 it's all about understanding who he is and believing in, 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 his, yeah, in his choices, right? So you, I have to find like the father, I have to find the husband, I have to find the, 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 the fears I, uh, that he has, I have to find what drives him, I have to understand that. And, uh, and then I step back and I look again at the show and I go like, oh, okay, I've done my job, now I can be back. Uh, part of the audience and, and get affected by the story, you know? Right. And obviously, I mean, uh, I, I don't justify his actions, but as an actor, when you're there, you're just playing a character and, and you have to try to be honest, right? And uh, you cannot be judging the character while acting because, you know, it'll be a terrible performance. You'll I see think. it. How deep into the research do you go? Do you, because this is a guy who, I mean, while I'm watching it, I'm immediately going to uh, Wikipedia and trying to find out all other information to help yeah. me with this watching process. How deep do you go? That's exactly why I did the, the, the show, you know, because uh, that's exactly what I, I, I thought could be good to trigger today. It's, it is based on a real story, but it's fictionalized. Many, many things are, 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 are yeah, just, Stuff that well, the the writers are filling the blanks, no, you know, and and uh, and. Well, it's crazy because even in the history of it, it feels fictionalized. Yeah, of but course, but it was a real story. It is a real story. It's based on true events, and and what I hope is that people watch this, the 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 show and then go like, damn, yeah. I mean, this really happened. Mm -hmm. Because to to understand where we are today, what's happening today, the amount, the violence today. Mm -hmm. Uh, that my country is living, you have to go back, and this is the beginning of everything. So, so for me, that's it's really cool to hear that you you were googling yeah. at the same time because that's exactly what I'm looking for. And 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 to play the role, to go back to your question, I I did do a lot of research because um, the, uh, he's alive, right? Yeah, he's, he's incarcerated but alive. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and I decided not to not to meet him or try at least to meet him uh, because there's enough information about him. There's books, there's a lot of articles yep. about that time. And uh, I grew up in, in that Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know, the story is getting really close to, to the Mexico I experienced right. as a kid. Timeline-wise. Uh, yeah, yeah, because this, this last season, the second season finishes, ends in, in at the end of the 80s, basically. Right. And you were born in the early I, 80s. I, yeah. I, was, I was born in, this, in 79. 79, okay. So I was... I was doing you a favor. Uh -huh, no. Thank you very much, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's over, you know, internet has yeah, yeah, ruined it. Of course. It. So, but, uh, but um, yeah, so I remember that Mexico, and I remember these events, you know, we, 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 we go through the earthquake of 85. Yep. That was um, really, really like 
a hardcore experience for everyone in Mexico City, and I was in Mexico City. Uh, I remember the election of 88 uh, that you get to see also in the show. So <clears throat> for me, it was interesting to revisit this part of Mexican history from this perspective, you know, because this is a Mexico my father was trying to hide from me. Right. You know, I was a right. kid. Uh, and now I go back and I go like, oh, damn, all of this was happening. And that's that. It, it is a turning point in Mexican history. Uh, do you, what is something, do you ever, you know, when I told you I was going to a part of Mexico just earlier, you were immediately kind of, you know people there, be safe. It's, you know, that kind of, it's a violent country. There's, there's criminality still rife over there. When you take on a role like this, you live there still. Do you worry at all for your own life? No more than before during the <laughs> show, right? Uh, the, I think, in fact, uh, I, I'm doing the show for, for that reason. I'm doing the show because I want people to understand what needs to happen for a line of cocaine to get in front of them, right? Uh, what's behind? Uh, because no one thinks like that. No. Uh, 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 and the amount of violence, uh, you know, uh, it, the, this war on drugs, we've lost it, right? I mean, it's we we, we lost it. There, right. there, there's there's no way anyone can say no. We're doing great. No. I mean, there's in the in you can the, still see, continue to make these shows to yeah. modern day, mm -hmm. and we we'll continue to be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 today is is the story is even more violent and more complicated in before. many ways. Mm -hmm. So the 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 point is, uh, this is a global issue, right? But the problem is that the violence is happening in my country. We're getting all the violence of, of this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, I, what I think we have to go and do is knock on everyone's door and say, hey, this is your issue too. You ha right. you, we need you to yeah. fix it. And uh, this is one way of doing that. So yeah, exactly. You know, there is, like I said in the very beginning, I liked Felix, I liked the character. I liked following him in some ways. I, I wanted him to win. There's one character I liked more and that was Kiki Camarena played by Michael mm -hmm. Pena. Uh, that is, a good guy who we knew from the very first episode. You don't share much screen time with him up until the moment that you do. And everyone that looks at history will know that he died, um, was tortured and executed. That scene with you and Michael had to be done right. It was yeah. a lot of uh, pressure. So talk to me about working with someone like him and what went into that one scene where the two main characters collide. Gladly, I, I know Michael for quite a long time. Uh, I even directed him once in a in a film about Cesar Chavez, and he plays Cesar Chavez. So so we we spend a lot of time together, and uh, and I, I I think he's a he's a very generous actor, and uh, and he's all about the like the interaction and what how much the moment can turn into something else because of this, this, uh, yeah, uh, how do you say, this, this chance to, to, I'm gonna think about Redemption? It. No, no, the, the, like, I, I know I can do great, but I know it could be better if you okay. trigger stuff. Right, right, right. That I'm not, I'm not expecting, right? Okay. I don't know how to say that. But, you just did. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice to work with an actor that is so open for, to try stuff, you know? So tell me, how does he bring out the best in you? Just exactly by that, because you have to, you have to, you have to be ready for, for anything. Michael can change the line in a second, or say, or, or just look at you in a moment he wasn't doing it, and uh -huh. and, uh, and those things are, are really nice because uh, you, your your performance is alive. You know, it can always improve, and 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 cinema is about that. You know, uh, we can't rush too much because you need time to try stuff, right? Once you think you found it, there's still some some. Some somewhere to go, you know. And uh, anyway, but but with with Michael doing that scene was was uh, was a relief, you know, because we spent six months shooting a show that had us always separate, always separated the uh, whole way. He was coming to Mexico, and I said, "Fantastic, we're gonna have time to, <laughs> to hang be out together." And we we were together for a day, and uh, and and the rap party, and that's it. Uh, 
Are you easy to hang out with on set? Because the character of Felix is constantly, through two seasons, stressed. Yeah. I mean, there's never a moment he's yes. happy or relaxed or content. He's constantly tightly wound and I you know, his forehead is just yeah. furrowed constantly. Is that easy to do, to constantly be stressed? No, it's... it's, it's tiring? It's, it's tiring, it's painful, it's, uh, it's challenging. It's, it's, it, it, it's probably the most demanding character I've ever played. Um, For that reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also just because of, of, of the darkness of everything, you know, there's not a light moment. And he's never, always, never with this guy. And he's uh, uh, in this season more than ever, like he's surviving and he, he created a monster and now he has to control it. Uh, and, and, but I, I would say that on set, uh, I look f also for the opposite, you know? Um, you try and find it in the off time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I need lightness in my life. I need to smile, I need to laugh. If not, I'll, uh, I would stop doing what I'm doing. How many cigarettes did you smoke? Yeah. I mean, this is no joke. It's constantly, you have a cigarette in your mouth. Yeah. At all times. Two years. And a drink, but I know that can be apple juice, but the cigarette is real. The cigarette is real, definitely. I have this rule that I, I think I can tell when people are smoking herbal cigarettes. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. So uh, you think that you can tell, so you smoked real cigarettes yeah, the whole way through? the whole way through. Because they offer you like this, it's lettuce cigarettes or something <laughs> what? like that. It's what? Like lettuce. Like, lettuce cigarettes, like, okay. like a salad, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you light a salad, basically. Uh, <laughs> but I think you can tell because it smells weird and, uh, and you don't get the kick, so you go for a lot right, right. Of, of smoke. Uh, so I go like, I like smoking real cigarettes. But I learned, in the first season I learned. So now I, I used to like start the scene finishing my cigarette or, or light like, it at the very right. end, you know, uh, and never on a long scene. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's my, my lungs are really happy I'm done <laughs> yeah, yeah. with the shooting. I'm very the happy for you season. that you're done as well. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about Narcos Mexico forever, but we've got to talk about Star Wars. Yeah. Um, I don't want to spoil anything with your career, especially with Star Wars, how, exactly. how tight they are. Um, <laughs> where, where, it's where did your you, security that matters. That's so, the one that so you're be, worried about. Be very careful. Please. That's the one you're worried about. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you first find out that you were going to be able to revisit the character of Cassian Andor? Was this always in mind or is this something that just surprised you? We, we said it as a joke many times. Uh, then it wasn't a joke anymore. I think uh, when, when we were close to releasing the film, uh, Close to releasing the film, the idea came out, but I thought this was this is never gonna happen, right? Uh, and uh, and I thought I, I mean I, I really I really prepared myself to 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 enjoy the ride, right? Uh, and uh, and then get off and become part of the audience again, mm -hmm. and, and, and and that's it, right? I, I had to not just prepare myself, but my son. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> wait, why do you have to prepare him? And well, because like I was the best dad till he realizes I die. <laughs> and like, oh, it's over. <laughs> my dad was the best dad to right. have, but now I'm gonna not have anymore. to go and explain yeah. to all my friends that, that why he's dead. Uh, he's gone. Uh, anyway, we don't think of these things. No, no, we don't cover these. <laughs> um, what what makes you super excited? No, but you know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't put words in in my in my son's uh, mouth because he in fact said something very different. What he said? And say? it was beautiful. We were watching the film in the premiere in LA with my daughter there, and she turns like five minutes before the end. She goes and looks at me and says, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill everyone." <laughs> And and, Jeronimo, and and she says, this is so sad, this is too sad, I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch. And Jeronimo goes, shh, don't worry, don't worry, this is a good way to die, it's called sacrifice. Oh, wow. And I go like, holy crap. Wow, how <laughs> like, old is he? Uh, he was nine then. He's a Jedi in the making. What is something that you, <laughs> um, that you really like about Cassian Andor, that you're super excited to get back into, what do you like about him? Uh, the, the 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 whole the, the whole idea about a a, a spy, you know. Uh, I like that. I like those characters, you know. When you know very little, and you know they're always thinking something else, and uh, and you have to wait to find out what that is, you know. Like it's it's yeah. 
it's very interesting. It's a, it's a very quiet man. And, uh, and what we're going to do now is explain how he got to do what he does in Rogue One, right? right? Uh, so it's, it's interesting uh, to, to work with a character that people already know, mm -hmm. uh, that already know how, how it ends. Mm -hmm. You know, because then you're open to explore other things. You know, you're not waiting for the 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 for the end to come. Right. You know? No. In fact, you want you the actually opposite. want it to you want it to live. Uh huh. And uh, and and it's interesting because you can now play with the expectations of of, of an audience. Right. Uh, they thought you were this, and but you're not. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm just happy. I'm gonna be able to go back to that universe because I grew up watching those films. Uh, uh, and he was, I don't think I've ever been so connected with, with, with emotionally with the right of, uh, of acting, you know. I would, I would have to remind myself many times that I was working because... Right, because <laughs> it's so much fun. It was fun and interesting and, and uh, you know, also the, the, the way we did Rogue One is uh, it's somehow is a homage to the to the genesis of Star Very Wars. Very much too. so. Yeah. So, we, so we, everything is there. We shot emulating the way they did, right? So there's no blue screen. Nope. Uh, we, we're working with real stuff. The, they construct the sets. The, the, there's an actor with a mask and someone operating the mask and it's all mechanical and you're interacting with the thing, you know? And uh, you, you, when you, I remember piloting, for example, and the thing moves. And you push the buttons and things happen. You they know? actually all work. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. I mean, it's it's there for you to to interact with, you know. Uh, or, you, so you really love that style. Of well, I mean, it's it, ma it makes acting uh, a joy. You know, you don't have to imagine stuff. You just have to to Do. react and to be. And uh, and I played I played being in, in in this situation as a kid for a long time. So then having that, that chance to actually do it and then tell a story and, and, uh, and work with amazing people, it, it, was, it was a beautiful ride and, and I'm glad I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I, we gotta wrap this up, but I, I know that you did one thing at Sundance, you told Kevin Smith two things you said. You said you stole a blaster from set. Mm -hmm. You did. <laughs> so you have to now give that I, back. I, I, I mean, no, I don't know, I, I didn't say that. Did uh, you I? did, it's on camera. <laughs> replay it right now <laughs> and you also said if you get drunk then you'll tell us what happens in oh yeah in, yeah, yeah that's for sure yeah well if, if you get me drunk I, uh, I'll... holy we can start <laughs> with one if that's not enough well, that's not, this is not gonna go, do it two okay, and yeah. number th oh, that's oh. not gonna do it and then number three <laughs> gladly you, I, uh, gladly I haven't done anything, so I don't know. I don't have information in me. The plan didn't work. Exactly, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it. Absolutely. Listen, thank you yeah. so much for coming here. Congratulations on everything. Can't wait for what's coming. Can't wait for everyone to see season two. Yeah. Uh, Diego Luna, thank you.